Greg MacArthur and Andrew Willis, Globe and Mail. The Globe and Mail's coverage of the turbulent tenure of Heather Zordell at the Ontario Securities Commission is an example of public interest journalism at its best. In addition to reviewing questionable dissents drafted by Zordell, Greg MacArthur and Andrew Willis revealed that two sitting commissioners were so appalled by her appointment as chair, they resigned in protest. Questions were raised about Zordell's legal judgment, as well as her intervention with commission staff during a previous stint with the regulator on behalf of a penny stock mining company in which she'd owned shares. Four months after their article was published, Zordell resigned. Judges called this submission one of the most impactful business stories in Canada last year. Niall McGee, Globe and Mail. In his work for the Globe and Mail, Niall McGee drew back the curtain on Canada's diminishing control of natural resources. Without secure access to the elements that power phones, computers, and utility grids, Canada will struggle to backstop its clean energy agenda. McGee's reporting showed this fragility is largely due to Canada's laissez-faire approach towards Chinese investment in the mining sector. His reporting led to change. In October, the federal government announced it would only allow Chinese investment in the sector on exceptional grounds. A month later, it ordered three Chinese state-owned firms to divest themselves from Canadian critical mining companies. And in December, the government announced changes to the Investment Canada Act to toughen scrutiny of foreign takeovers. Marco Chown Ovid, Toronto Star. In 2022, Canadians were hit with the highest inflation rate in decades. The rates were highest and most harmful in supermarkets. The Toronto Star's Marco Chown Ovid wanted to know why. Through inventive research and analysis, he was able to demonstrate that the country's three major grocers weren't simply passing along the cost of inflation. They were doing that and more, using the cover of inflation to pad their bottom line. Had profit margins remained at pre-pandemic levels, shoppers would have saved more than $1.4 billion on their food bills in 2022. Judges said his reporting changed the inflation debate in Canada at a time when many Canadians were forced to choose between food and other necessities. Le lauréat ou la lauréate est... And the award goes to... Niall McGee, Globe and Mail. Um, well, it's really hard, first of all, to um, compete against colleagues. Andy, I'm looking right at you. Um, and Greg, who I respect, one of the best investigative journalists in Canada. And uh, congratulations to Marco as well for being nominated. Um, you know, my son, I was talking to my son about this award ceremony. He's 14 years old. And he actually told me, um, quote, not to bother showing up tonight, <laughs> that I had <laughs> almost no chance of winning. Um, <laughs> And, and it wasn't that he didn't want me to win, he just thought the odds were pretty bad. He's pretty mathematically minded, and one in, th one in three was not good chances. Um, anyway, there's, there's quite a few people I have to thank at the Globe and Mail. My editor, Ryan McDonald, he's in Ottawa. I don't think he's here tonight, but he absolutely was a big believer in this story and these series of stories and encouraged me to uh, take my time and dig and uh, just go at it. And one of those stories alone uh, took about six months. And I, I just feel really privileged to work at a paper that will allow me to that kind of time to do this kind of work. Um, there's multiple other people at the Globe and Mail. I'm looking at Janet McFarlane. Um, Janet is she's a friend of mine. I, when I first started the Globe in 2014, uh, she won't remember this, but I used to just badger her constantly. And uh, she's a great friend, and she's always been a terrific supporter. Uh, there's so many editors. Uh, right up top, uh, David Walmsley, uh, fellow Irishman, um, Dennis Jacquet, Gary Salowich, of course, in the Globe, in the uh, ROB, and then right down to the editing desk. People on the back desk, as we call it, the Globe Mail, are just so important. They save our asses all the time. Uh, 
Stan Della, Della Roca is here tonight. Uh, I, I love it when Stan is on a story. Uh, we, we always have a great chat no matter what. He's an erudite fellow. His mother should be very proud. Um, John Daly, I have to give a shout out to John Daly. Uh, I think he worked on a lot of my stories last year and um, whenever I see John on a story, I'm just so relieved because I know it's gonna go well. Uh, finally, I, I just wanna thank my wife. She's not here tonight, but she uh, really uh, saved me over the years. And I, I do mean that um, literally saved my life uh, years ago. Uh, I wrote about the experience uh, and she's always supported me as a journalist. She's always been there. For me, I could not do this work without her support, and that's it. Thank you so much, everybody.